and my name is Dylan. I'm back, baby. We're gonna be making spaghetti, homemade spaghetti. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you some pointers, some tips. We're gonna use the machine. We're not gonna use a mixer. I like pasta because it's really savory and it's really fun to make. You're gonna need eight eggs, one fork, and two bowls. First, we're gonna crack two eggs. my father taught me and we're gonna separate the egg whites and the egg yolks the trick is to crack it and make sure it's in a half some kind of half and then you're gonna want to keep the yolk and then transfer the yolk into the other half then keep on doing that until the egg white is all gone the yolks gonna go into the one that we did earlier We're going to use the one with the two whole eggs and the six egg yolks. We're going to use one tablespoon of olive oil. Like this much. Now we're going to whisk the egg yolks and the two whole eggs all together with the oil. We're going to use the technique my grandmother taught me is to up, turn over. And you might want to turn the bowl instead of just doing this because then you're just going to spin the bowl and make a lot of sound. Now we're going to put this to the side and we're going to get two cups of all-purpose flours. And if you want, you can use double O, double O if you want. But if you saw in our first video, we used a knife and we're going to use that again. Now we're going to add a pinch of salt into the eggs and then spin it again. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you the well. We're going to make a really big well, bigger than you would expect because it has to hold the egg, all of the eggs. So now that we've made the giant um, well, we're gonna pour the, all of the eggs into it, into the well. Now we're gonna incorporate, we're gonna start to super slowly, start to incorporate the, um, the eggs, so then we push the flour into the egg. I learned to do the well strategy from my dad at my first time making homemade pasta. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> so now you're gonna want to scoop it back, scoop it back, scoop it back. Then you're gonna oh, just like <laughs> push it. No. <laughs> you're gonna want to push it in. <laughs> You don't want to get in with your hands now. And just incorporate the flour with it. So now you're going to want to get in with your hands and just start mixing it with the flour. <laughs> it feels really weird. It's starting to come together after that big disaster. We want to knead it and fold it so we form the gluten. In the gluten is a molecule which is in the flour. <laughs> so the bleep. <laughs> How'd you get to be taller, Dylan? <laughs> now you're gonna want to 
want to shape it into a sphere so we can put it into the plastic wrap. You want to wrap it so then it relaxes the gluten to just when you poke it, you want to have it like spring back open to where it formed, started. But you're gonna wanna just let it sit down on the counter for an hour to 30 minutes. Now that we've let it sit over time, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna cut it into quarters. Quarters are into fours. So one, two, and three. After you've cut it into fourths, you're gonna wanna put, if you have a machine, you're gonna wanna put it onto the wheel. Now, if you have a dial on your machine, you're the one to set it to the biggest one. You can flatten it, but I just don't want to waste time for me. But you're going to want to make sure it's nice and flat. Make sure to add extra flour if it needs it. Make sure there aren't ruffles, but each time there isn't ruffles and you did it a hole, you're going to want to turn it down one dial. We have to put plastic, the same plastic wrap over them so then they don't make a skin and then when you make it, it isn't crunchy. Do you want crunchy pasta? I wouldn't think so. If you do, I'm sorry for you. Once it gets pretty long, you might want to chop it in half. We're going to do the same thing as earlier. Put it on, rub it. Now that we were done flowering these, the other, this, these two, we're going to move it on to the spaghetti roll. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to put the spaghetti into it and just continue rolling. Spinning, I mean. We're gonna walk over to the stove and we're gonna put some salt into it. Get, grab the needles, put it in a strainer, put it into the hot water and let it cook for about one minute, two minute tops. Believe it or not, that's all it takes to cook the pasta actually. For the sauce, we're going to use the Kazali family recipe, a couple ladlefuls into the pan. If you have a big ladle, you can use two of those, but... Now we're going to lift it up and just start shaking it. And then putting it... Oh, Just bring it over. And put it Use some tongs to mix it all around into the sauce. You're going to need some olive oil, so drizzle that over. And then continue mixing it. But make sure you don't keep it in a clump, because then it'll stay in a clump. And you want to turn it off at this point because you don't. Do you want it to overcook? No. Yeah, I don't think so. Now it's time to put it on a plate. And 
this is the finishing product. Don't forget to taste it. Take a tiny bite of it and then check if it needs salt and pepper. I would add some salt. Oh, taster! Oh, uh, here I am. I got my own fork. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna taste this creation of yours. <laughs> Looks really good. <laughs> wow! Well, it's mine to taste! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm gonna see if mine likes it. I'm gonna keep on making pasta, but I'll see you guys at the next episode.